Welcome guys to another episode on FPGA timing analysis and today we're going to be talking about offset in and offset out constraints. With that let's dive in. So why do we need to specify these constraints? As FPGA designers or digital designers in general dealing with ASICs, the most of work that we deal with has to do with static timing analysis that's within the core and you may never have to deal with external interfaces when data comes in into the chip the peripheral flops have to do some analysis as well and uh, examples being let's say uh, source synchronous interfaces like you know peripheral i2c um, spy interfaces or memory interfaces like ddr um, ram based interfaces etc where timing analysis is more complex um, and uh, you need to be able to specify what the external relationships are like pcb and board level and other chips that may have clock to out relationships in and of themselves you have to account for all those delays before you can analyze data coming into your chip or going out of your chip so the offset in constraint helps you do that by specifying the offset right at the input periphery of the chip as data comes into the chip the pad themselves have some relationship that you can specify you can say that data is available so many nanoseconds before this clock and or after or whatever you can specify the relationship at the pad level between clock and data and based on that the timing analyzer can then figure out whatever delay and routing and logic delays are there on the data and whatever delays there on the clock skews and tcms and pll's and any other delays you can account for and can eventually calculate the arrival time at the flop and make sure that you have proper timing constraints met. The simple equation describing this is here T data plus T setup which is the total delay here and arrival here at this point and should match T clock but because this data was earlier you have a little bit of slack so you can subtract that and that should equal to the clock. So that's it you can see that clearly it's simple enough to specify the constraint right at the periphery that's important to understand the offset is in at the periphery and once peripheral constraint is set up it is very easy for the static timing tool to analyze what happens at this point inside the flop so next let's look at offset out offset out is a constraint that um, is specified between the clock pad uh, in and the data pad out and so you can see that the two points are this point and that point and what this means is that obviously at this external flop before it goes out to the pad there's going to be clock to out there's going to be data delay here before it arrives at the pad so you have to account for all those delays but the most important is that in this offset out we are actually forcing the uh, the compiler uh, or the static timing analysis tool to make sure that there's an extra constraint on top of everything else which is that from this input clock to this output pad there should be a relationship and there is a known relationship uh, for the clock to pad and that is specified by this equation here so the total time uh, is really clock to queue plus data delay here that's usually the time to arrive at the pad but remember this constraint is specified with respect to this clock and therefore you can say that you know the delay of this clock is also something that you can add and so this becomes the equation then the data plus clock to queue plus clock which is the delay here t clock that should equal to the t offset out after and uh, using these two clock in and clock out offset in offset out constraints you can specify and capture the timing relationships at the periphery of the chip not just internally and that way when you hand off data to another chip or you get data from another chip via the pcb your constraints are well aware of all the relationships acquired. So that's it for this episode, guys. And if you like it, do subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you more videos in understanding timing analysis on FPGA or digital logic in general. And if there is any topic that you would like more details on, do leave me comments. And uh, until next time, take care and bye-bye.